Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Harper Realtor. Well, today I'm back up the Kinder Ranch community, the Prospect Creek section, and I'm out here because the house behind me is built by David Weekly, and it's the Colton plan. And I'm out here because my clients are doing their final walkthrough and doing that builder orientation where the construction manager is walking through the building. And this is a perfect time for me to do a final video for them so they can have a a archive of what this house looked like the uh just a couple days before they closed on it anyways let's go check it out i do love the look of this colton plan and i think once you see the inside of it you will too every time i do one of these construction managers walkthroughs for david weekly i have been quite impressed uh with the thoroughness they have with it i have no loyalties to any builders but uh their inspection reports do come back really quite clean there's never a perfect inspection report but david weekly does do a good job but this is a beautiful home great community one of the nice things about kinder ranch is you do have your elementary school middle school and high school the high school is piper high school first year this year and uh you're in Boverde, texas great community uh the sunday creek section does have some new spots that just opened Prospect Creek's gonna be the more higher end area. As you can tell, these are really wide homes. All right, enough of me babbling. Let's go check out the inside. I am absolutely loving this flower bed that they put in. They could have went cheap and leveled it with the grass because there was a slope, but no, they raised the flower bed up and it just really looks nice. We do have uh, stucco on a lot of this exterior and beautiful rock, nice sitting area. And it's just going to be really nice being able to sit outside here. And like we got the Texas sun setting over there in the hill country. All right, let's head on inside. Big, beautiful door. All right, I'm going to come in. You know, it's the beautiful uh, tile flooring. Just nice, tall ceilings. You do have an office right up front. You've got your ethernet cables, view of the front of the house. And like I said, good sized office. That's just a little closet, but we do have a bedroom up front, perfect for guests. Once again, the tall ceilings. Oop, let me get these lights on here. Decent sized closets. And yeah, I mentioned I was really impressed with the walkthrough that their construction manager did. We've been out here for about two hours now going over how this house works and going over the inspection report. Like I said, it turned out to be pretty clean and just talked about everything, making sure my clients are gonna be really satisfied when we close next week. Love the wrought iron. It's crazy how much wrought iron looks so much better than just sheet rocking in a stair sideways all right checking out the main living space they've got all their entertainment stuff up included like the pass-throughs on the wall fireplace and a beautiful kitchen i love the color selections they picked out we do have two different pantries there's one of them, which is plenty good size. We got another one right over there. Now, this I have not seen before, but you noticed how one of the ovens is missing a door. <coughs> and this is something I've never seen, but the construction manager, because they haven't closed on the house, and the same thing with the grates here, it's just kind of a threat, a theft deterrent, because unfortunately, yeah, sometimes trades uh, we'll come back in after hours and snag stuff. <coughs> mm, pardon me. It's sad, but that's a reality. So by doing that, they're less likelihood to do it because now they know they'd have to find replacement parts. So they're not going to steal it if they have to add on parts. Well, let me get a drink of water here. All right, much better. But beautiful. They went with the full size granite composite sink. I think they're gonna love that for years on end. 
nice little pendant lighting. Um, <clears throat> David Weekly does use GE appliances, all Wi-Fi capable. Just really impressed with the technology. The microwave looks a little silly right now. That's because they're having to do some custom work on the cabinet to make sure everything fits just right. And they'll get that taken care of before they close. All right, let's check out this backyard. We do have plenty of a uh, dining room slash breakfast nook combo. I love that. And I've done a video tour of this house before. When you see these raised doors, I mean, raised windows, that's because David Weekly wants you to be able to put some furniture back here if you wanted to, which is kind of their thing they do. Uh, ultraviolet coating on the windows to help keep the energy cost down. But let's check out this back porch. They just put the lawn in literally yesterday, so the sprinklers have been running a lot. But here in Prospect Creek, you are gonna get a little bit bigger yards and my clients were able to pick this lot and build from dirt. So they picked a beautiful lot, great oak trees. I'm glad they don't level everything. And it always annoys me when builders just plow down everything and just start building up homes and you get brand new little baby trees. But this has a huge yard. And uh, yeah, it's facing where the sun sets there, but they've got enough trees to where they're not gonna get melted in the summer. But this Colton plan has a beautiful back porch area. I think they paid a little bit extra to get it extended, and I'm glad they did because it's gonna be a, a great entertainment spot. All right, like I said, you, I mentioned the wrought iron rails. It just looks gorgeous. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and head upstairs and check that out. The master bedroom is downstairs, but uh, I'll save that to the end. So hopefully you guys will watch this whole video in anticipation of seeing that. Ooh, I love that this Colton plan has a movie theater option. So they went ahead and got this pre-wired and I like the fact that they've got the center channel, the two side speakers, but this center speaker, they've got it done for Adobe Atmos. So that makes things really nice because you still also have your rear speakers <clears throat> and pre-wired for the projector. This is something I've never seen before. They have the subwoofer wiring back in the closet. Neat little space. So you either have two options. You can keep the door closed and make a little subwoofer box or just open it up when you're watching movies. Kind of neat. So here's this hallway. Lots of outlet boxes in the floor. And we got three different bedrooms up here. So let's go ahead and start with this one over here. So yep, standard size bedroom. Kind of standard closet. Nothing fancy. A communal bathroom. Not sure why they have the water still in there, but I'm sure there's a reason. But just your standard bathroom, full bath. The other bedroom. And this is gonna have your Jack and Jill bathroom. I mean, it's gonna be passing through and still a shower shove combina tub combination. And then the third bedroom upstairs. So this has two bedrooms downstairs and then three bedrooms upstairs. So this is a big house. I don't have the exact square footage on this right now, but I'm gonna get it and I'll add that in the descriptions below. All right, let's head on downstairs. All right, we are back downstairs. Definitely want to showcase this laundry room they have set up. Um, and then we'll finish up with a powder room. Well, this is a powder room. Just kind of standard. I did ride my motorcycle today, so I'm using the mud room to hold my jacket. And let's showcase this cloth, the 
garage real quick. This is a full three car garage with plenty of extra space. And they opted to get the water softener, comes with a tankless water heater. They're gonna get a lot of use out of this garage space. So of course, we gotta talk about the laundry room. These guys, they, where they're coming from, they have a gas dryer. Not super popular in Texas, but David Weekly was able to get that hookup because these guys got in early enough and had this house being built from dirt. And they requested a sink being put in there. So David Weekly was able to come through and make that happen. All right, on to the master bedroom or owner suite, whatever I'm calling, people are calling it nowadays. I'm going a little rushed because I'm trying to get back home before it gets completely dark. But a big, big master bedroom, lots of window size here. And it's like, yeah, waking up to those oak trees, not a bad thing in the morning. Let me show, oh, yeah, let me show you this bathroom. You got the dual vanities right when you come in, but this is their super shower option that David Weekly likes to do. I don't know if the tile going all the way up to the top is standard or not, but that looks great. Especially with, uh, like I said, they're still working on this. They have uh, another seven days before we close. We just did the final walk with the construction manager. So they're working on a few things still. And that's why you see some blue tape on the wall water closet, and then a good sized master bedroom closet. I love the rain shower up top there. And one thing they did do, they do have like the Cat5 cables going into where the main TVs are gonna be just in case you're doing stuff like Apple TV it's always a good thing to have that done. <clears throat> now the buyers also opted to have this thing pre-wired just in case they wanted to have alarm system. And they've got a lot of stuff, upgrades that they've built into this house as far as pre-wiring. I'm super happy for my clients. They've got a beautiful home and I really do like Kinder Ranch as a community because the elementary, high school and middle school all right here. And this is a gorgeous home. I'm real thankful they got into this house before we started seeing these big price increases starting uh, in like November of 2020. And as I'm filming this now, we are in September 2021. So they, start, they got this house started before then. And yes, our prices have gone up since everybody's been flooding here, but they've got a great deal on this price. I'm not gonna mention how much they paid for it because really it's, none of y'all's business what a buyer had paid for the house. I mentioned what houses have, are for sale for, not what they actually paid for because Texas is a non-disclosed state. It's not people's business what they paid for. All right, let's go wrap up the tour. This beautiful home built by David Weekly. This is the Colton plan. It is a five bedroom house and I really like the layout of it. If you're thinking about moving uh, for your upgrade home or moving to Texas and looking for a great builder, I do recommend David Weekly a lot. They build a great house, but I have no loyalty to any particular builder. I try to do my best to find the right community, provide as much information as possible about different builders, and I let my clients make that decision on what they want to go with. I'll give my opinion, but I don't make decisions. I provide information. And if you're looking for a real estate agent that can help you with this process, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help, because as always, remember it costs you nothing to use a realtor. The buyer, I mean not the buyer, the seller pays for that. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care now, bye.